Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I was meaning to do this video a few days ago, but I got sidetracked, so I do want to apologize for the lateness of the video, but hopefully it's not too, too late, and we can get on with this. The video that I'm talking about is, you could say it's sort of like a follow-up video from when I first announced that Smogon was having a suspect test of Alakazam in the underused tier, and I know I said in that video that I was going to be doing a follow-up video a few days later after that, uh, and sort of discussing Alakazam a little more in detail, and just seeing as to whether or not it should or shouldn't be banned from underuse. So with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and analyze this Pokemon first. So, we got Alakazam, which is the Psychic type, and, you know, you being a plain Psychic type, you're gonna have your standard resistances and weaknesses, that being your resistances to Fighting and Psychic, and you are weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost. Now, of course, with you being weak to Dark, that also means that you are very, very vulnerable to Pursuit Trap. That right there is... One weakness that can very easily screw over Alakazam in a heartbeat. Let's take a look at the abilities here. So, we have Inner Focus, which prevents you from flinching, which is a pretty decent ability. But, Magic Guard is the ability to use on Alakazam. And what this does is it prevents you from taking indirect damage. So that means that any statuses that would damage you, that doesn't happen. Any weather damage doesn't happen, and it also means that you do not take recoil from things such as moves that have recoil, as well as uh, items, say a life orb that has recoil, uh, Magic Guard negates all of that. And then you got Synchronize, which is a pretty okay-ish ability. Uh, it's an ability that, say if you get paralyzed or something by your opponent, what happens is Synchronize will kick in, and that will cause your opponent to be paralyzed too. I mean, it's an okay ability, but, I mean, Magic Guard is like, okay, you'd be a fool to pass up Magic Guard. It is an amazing ability here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats right here. So, this right here, some could argue, is why it should be banned because of its low defensive bulk. That being 55 in the HP and 45 on the defense. Yeah, that is low. You would think that even a strong physical priority move would be able to take it out, and that may be the case, and I mean, anything that is faster than Alakazam, like say if you're like a Scarf Hydreigon or something and you use U-Turn, you could take it out. Uh, the attack is something that we're not really focusing on, because I mean, why, why would we? Space 50 attack, garbage, but let's take a look at what makes this Pokemon truly shine. So we got base 135 in the special attack. Base 120 in the speed, and I mean, we got an okay base 95 in the special defense, but still, it doesn't really help the case that this Pokemon is not really meant to take hits, it's meant to come in and rip face, it's meant to come in, either be a revenge killer, it's meant to set up on you and sweep, you know, things like that. Not to mention, this Pokemon has some pretty interesting utility moves too, so let's go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, and see some of the sets that we got going on here. So we got ourselves an all-out Life Orb Attacker with, you know, your Psychic Stab, whether you want to have Psychic or Psy Shock. Uh, for your Psychic coverage, you got Focus Blast for your Fighting coverage. You got Shadow Ball for your Ghost-type coverage. And the last move is really up to you. You have Dazzling Gleam, so that way you can smoke out uh, any Hydreigon switch-ins or any Pokemon that is of a Dark or a Fighting or a Dragon-type. You can snipe them out. You can also use Calm Mind, and Calm Mind, I might add, is a very lethal move, because if you were to use Calm Mind, that boosts your special attack and your special defense up by one stage, and essentially, after one Calm Mind boost, you're easily going to be two-hit KOing everything in the tier. Everything. Even Blissey can't uh, stomach two Focus Blasts. I mean, it would have to run max special defense for it to have a chance, but then it would be picked apart by Psyshot because it targets its really bad physical defense. You also have Substitute to not only scout what your opponent's going to do, but to also, <coughs> excuse me, but to also uh, prevent them from, say, setting up a Leech Seed or setting up uh, Paralysis or whatever on you. S substitute is a really good move to have on Alakazam. Now, there's also other moves, such as Taunt, which breaks Stall. You can also use Thunder Wave to cripple any setup sweepers. You can use Encore, so that way you can lock an opponent 
into a move that they've used previously. So say if they were to set up an entry hazard or something like that, well, that's not going to work because uh, what's going to happen is, yeah, you may set up the entry hazards, but they're going to encore you and you're going to be stuck using that move until you switch out. And the moment you switch out is when Alakazam is going to have an even bigger advantage. So let's go ahead and scroll down here and see what other sets we got going on here. So we got this, we got ourselves a fo uh, Focus Sash, and the beauty about this set right here is that because of Magic Guard, you also don't take damage from Hazards, which counts as indirect damage. So that means that this thing, no matter what, is always going to be a two-hit KO when it comes to Focus Sash variants, which is insanely good because uh, even really strong, super effective attacks, you're not going to one-shot this thing because of Focus Sash. You're going to bring it down to uh, Focus Sash range, and even still, it's going to find a way to mess you up. You know? Like, it's, it's, it's awesome. But of course, this thing has to be at 100% HP in order for Focus... <coughs> excuse me. In order for Focus Sash to work. So, let's go ahead and scroll down and see if there's anything else. Okay, no, there's nothing else. But really, it's like, you don't need to uh, have different sets for Alakazam. Like, Alakazam, in my opinion, uh, its bread and butter is for it to be an all-out offensive attacker, and you can have one or two move slots that have some utility in, in order to uh, mess up the opponents, and that way, you'll have a little more uh, flexibility when it comes to using Alakazam. Like, rather than just being an all-out special attacker, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, you can also be something like a, a stall breaker or uh, speed control for any fast setup sweepers or something like that. So with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and go into the team builder and let's go. <clears throat> what I have right here, I narrowed this whole UU tier down to six Pokemon that you would think would be uh, really good checks and counters to Alakazam. But I ran some damage calculations, and I'm just thinking, yeah, um, these Pokemon, uh, with a little prior damage, like, say, to Stealth Rocks or something, get two-hit KO. They get their asses handed to them. I mean, <clears throat> like, Assault Vest Snorlax. Like, Assault Vest Snorlax, you would think, would be able to switch in, uh, take a hit, and then be able to one-shot it. Uh, it gets two-hit KO'd by Focus Blast. Uh, Mandibuzz gets two-hit KO'd by Focus Blast. Gudra. Gets two hit KO'd by Psy Shock. Florges, two hit KO'd by Psy Shock. Celebi uh, gets a two hit KO'd by Shadow Ball with some prior damage. And Blissey gets two hit KO'd by Focus Blast. Unless, of course, it's a special defensive variant, it could get two hit KO'd by Psy Shock. So let's go ahead and go into uh, the. Sorry about that. Uh trying to get into the uh, UU tier here. Let me... Just one sec. Okay, here we go. So, I mean, like, you take the whole UU tier right here. I mean, yes, there are Pokemon that can beat this thing one-on-one, -on -one, but it's gotta be offensive. And the thing of it is, is that they also have to be faster than you. They have to be faster than base 120, that being Alakazam's speed. Because if that's not gonna happen, then you almost aren't going to see the light of day when it comes to facing off against Alakazam, especially if it gets a Calm Mind set up on you, then <laughs> it's over. So, something that is a must on the team is to have a Pokemon that can outspeed Alakazam and one-shot it, uh, unless, of course, if it's, a, uh, if it's the Revenge Kill set with the Focus Sash, then two-shot it. Uh, you also need to have a Pokemon that can... Uh, not only take a hit, but be able to outspeed it and be able to match Alakazam and take it out. And even still, it's like, it's not always guaranteed. I mean, you can't just blatantly switch a Pokemon into Alakazam and expect for it to not fold on you because, especially after a Calm Mind setup, the thing to hit KOs everything in the tier. Sylveon, gone. Umbreon, gone. Vaporeon, gone. And even Pokemon like Suicune. Suicune is one of the bulkiest Pokemon there is. And it'll be able to... It's it's going to end up being outpaced, outset up, and it's going to uh, not match up well against Alakazam, you know? And it sucks because, you know, it's... I, I personally 
like using Alkazam and underused. But the thing of it is, is that when you when you see that this Pokemon is a problem, when you see that any Pokemon, for example, is a problem in the in the tier, you know, you you kind of have to uh, think a little more logically here. You can't just pick, oh well, it's my favorite Pokemon. I don't want to get banned. I mean. You know, I kind of felt that way when Mega Metagross was being suspect tested, but I mean, I could understand why it was being suspect tested, but it didn't get banned because ultimately Mega Metagross suffers from too many weaknesses in order for it to be banned and suffers from uh, four move slot syndrome and... You know, there, there's Pokemon that can match up well against Mega Metagross and be able to beat it out. Um, but getting back to Alakazam here, so I mean... Uh, Dewblade is also another example here that gets 2 KO'd by the likes of uh, Alakazam with Shadow Ball. Now, of course, Dewblade can in fact 1 vs 1 Alakazam uh, because this thing has priority Shadow Sneak, which would be able to pick it off easily, right? Uh, you also have uh, Entei with the likes of Extreme Speed. Uh, you know, they could... Uh, Entei could switch in, or not switch in, Entei can 1 vs 1 uh, Alakazam, and take and take it out with two extreme speeds, basically. Uh, so I mean, any one versus one situation, if you know that you'll be able to outspeed and one shot, or not one shot, but take out Alakazam, then that's one way to counter it. Another way to counter it would be, say, if it was to switch out and say you have Pursuit and you know it's going to switch out, you can use Pursuit, Pursuit Trap it, and do some massive damage, if not knock it out if it doesn't carry Focus Dash. So, you know, let's see, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much else I can say here, because I mean, like, yeah, I mean, uh, Meg Metagross here uh, could be, could be an answer to uh, Alakazam, I mean, because I mean, the thing of it is, is if it has an assault vest and it has some special defensive investment, like if we go to, uh, Metagross's Smogon page here, if this thing will load. <laughs> My apologies for that. I mean, you take a look at the stats right here. I mean, it has some respectable special defense, and even a really good physical defense. If we just scroll down here, I mean, uh, we got ourselves our offensive stealth rocker. Do we have a an assault vest set here? No, I guess not. Um, that's probably in the OU uh, part of this, but let's just go ahead and take a look. So, I mean, yeah, we got the Mega Metagross site. Yes, see, look at this. Okay, so, uh, this set right here could, in fact, be a pretty decent answer, I think, to Mega, or to, sorry, to regular Alakazam. And here's the thing. It doesn't get too KO'd by Shadow Ball. Uh, it could come in and eat up a hit, use an attack, like, say, Meteor Mash or Earthquake or even Pursuit, because it is super effective, and then you could knock it with Bullet Punch with your priority. So, I mean, you could say that me that Metagross with Assault Vest is a Pokemon that could essentially counter uh, Alakazam. But there's not really any other Pokemon uh, in the underused tier that can boast it. Like, be able to boast, uh, you know, being able to take a hit and then fire back and then knock it out with a priority because... You know, Met Met Assault Vest Metagross is pretty damn powerful. And it's also a tank, too. But, you know, even still, is that, that that's not going to be enough. Because, say, if you're not even running Metagross, then, you know, Alakazam could set up Calm Mind, and if your team lacks priority and lacks uh, a Pokemon that's faster than Alakazam, then that's it. Uh, Alakazam pretty much uh, two uh, two KOs, if not one hit KOs, everything on your team. So... Uh, that's really all I gotta say about uh, about this whole thing. Um, sorry if this got a little bit ranty, but my opinion, I think that uh, Alakazam is just a little too powerful for the underused here. But I could be completely wrong. But that's just my opinion. So tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that this thing should be banned? Do you guys think it shouldn't be banned? Uh, you know, let's spark up a discussion. So. With that being said, my friends, that's going to end the video off right here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you fire off a like. Let's see if we can aim for 12 likes. I mean, this is a discussion video, and I mean, you guys do like discussion videos. I mean, I had uh, some of you guys tell me that, uh, especially when I'm not freaking out or whatever, you know, my Mega Crasher character, that 
I do some pretty good discussion videos and whatnot, and so I thank you guys for that. Thank you for your guys' feedback. It's always helpful. So, if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share this channel, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crash on the community, because you already know the deal about now, my friends, but we're a community type of pack and Titan is one. You know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload!